Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be making a part two to a video I made a couple of days ago, which was um what your main says about you. So this uh, video is mainly gonna be like the characters I missed because I missed a couple of these characters, and you know my last video got a decent amount of like likes, and then some people did hate it because I didn't watch Dragon Ball, and this is gonna be a disclaimer right here. Most of my information or most of everything I know about Dragon Ball is straight off off like TikTok clips and um playing the games and that's basically it so and, and some of you guys really hate him when i call like yorichi bay or whatever his name wrong i'm not gonna give him the respect i'm not gonna search up how to say his name i am not gonna watch someone say his name because i hate that fucking character with my life so with all that said we're gonna get started so the first character we're gonna be going over the like that I didn't have in the original video was Nail. Honestly, Nail, I don't think there's a single main, like single person playing Nail in the game. And you see, this is going to be a common trope in this video because a lot of the characters that are in the store that most people didn't buy are usually like very, very hardcore side characters. Like I played 200 plus matches. So I like I played a decent amount of matches in this game. And I swear to you, I don't think I've ever won against a Nail main or even a Mecha Frieza main. Or just anyone that, like, play these characters once. And I feel like that's mainly because there's, you know, the, like, best characters, like, out here and the best team comps. And, like, I don't even play the single player, um, the single versus. I usually play the DP team one. So, there's more room to have these, like, guys in your team. But, yeah, still, nobody plays Nail. Uh, the one thing I could say is probably the only person that has ever played Nail meant to pick Piccolo. They just mistakenly picked Nail, and that's basically it. So now, you know, in the contrary, Videl. Videl is a character that, like, there's a lot of, there's actually so many people playing Videl, and there's, like, a lot of Videl mains. And there's, like, a lot of Fidel mains. And so I respect all the Fidel mains because instead of, you know, they usually have 2 DP left, 3 DP left, and instead of choosing, you know, someone like him, they choose Fidel. And so, like, Fidel, the thing about her that I, like, I deadass find annoying, but I really don't care is her special move her special move that that ass takes two bars and literally they grab you special move they win a vanish class special move they literally do anything they could have you stunned for a split second a special moves coming out they will let you know that their special move only takes two only takes two special um only takes two bars of key and it, like they generally spam this so much it's insane the thing I like, I genuinely don't mind because it doesn't really do insane damage. And you know, you just got to win your vanish classes, you just can't let them knock you back or grab you. So it's definitely like kind of annoying to go up against, but it definitely takes skill to get that opening on somebody because I respect doing that instead of like, I guess, ultimate spamming where you just fucking go right next to their person and they literally can't block it or anything and just go into sparking mode. So I'd rather go against this than literally nine per like 80% of the roster. And so the next character is Mecha Frieza. This is the same shit as Nail because I generally don't think there's anyone that mains Mecha Frieza. And that's for a good reason. Because why would you main F Mecha Frieza? Because like when you have Super Frieza that, you know, you're honestly in his final form, but you're able to transform into gold or play him from like the Z games where you could just go through all the transformations and then actually get into his Frieza form. Not only that, like I said, I didn't really watch Dragon Ball a lot, but I... I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen a clip of him getting his ass cooked by Trunks in literally like two seconds. Literally two seconds. The, I, I, like, I don't know what the story is behind that, but I'm pretty sure he got mollywopped so fast. So based off all the versions of Frieza, he's probably like the fucking weakest or he just got cooked the fastest. So yeah, there's not really much of uh, Mecha Frieza mains, but if you are, you're pretty sad. So, next character is Joe Jun uh, Cell Jr. I, I did see a couple of mains of him. I think... In my whole time of playing like ranked, I think I've versed like three three people that use Soul Junior on their team. There was one that like I'm pretty sure is like whole team was Soul Junior. I don't know if that was the case or I'm just getting mistaken with the story mode. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he gave me a pretty like hard fight. This is definitely like I I rather verse against this. This shit is actually fun to go up against. Like having a versing a full team of like Soul Juniors or Saba men, it's actually fun to to go against. And usually these guys are good at the game. They want to have fun, but the thing is that they're get, the only reason why they can't make it up in rank is because, you know, these characters are holding them back. But, you know, 
sometimes it's like a sacrifice. You got to sacrifice your rank to have fun at the game. And that's what really matters because I, I haven't sacrificed fun for um, ranked. I sacrificed, wait, I sacrificed fun for ranked. I didn't do it the other way around. And I swear every time I play this game, I think I get more tight and more angry than I do happy or just enjoy the fucking game. I literally play games to get tight at them now. So, next character is Pan GT. I've been, I went against a couple of these characters. I literally don't know what the fuck she does in the anime. Because, I like, I've seen one TikTok clip of her calling Goku, um, Grandpa. So, I guess she's, like, the granddaughter or something. But, yeah, usually the people that are playing her, I guess, they're, like, they're literally Fidel mains. It's, like, Fidel mains that haven't, cho like, seen Fidel or don't know about Fidel. So, they accidentally picked Pan GT. Pan GT is, like... Usually when I when I see a Pan GT, it's usually a low DP cost team. And, yeah, there, I mean, I don't know what the fuck she does. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I, I think I've versed against her, like, once. There's not much to say about her. She, she, I guess she's, I guess she's a nice character. I, I guess she's a good character. And, so, yo, that's going to be a lot of what this video is going to be about. Like, a lot of these characters I generally have never versed against. You know what? I'm going to save these characters for later. Like these relevant as characters and go to characters that people actually do main because I might save it for a part three because I don't want to torture you guys with basically my rambling on characters I have I don't know anything about anime wise and I've never seen people fight against one oh like one thing I did see was Cybermen there was literally a guy that his whole team he had like five Cybermen's in this team and I'm pretty sure he, like he would be like six seven and it was just him switching out. This is the same thing as So Junior. This shit, you actually could get in high ranks if you're actually really good at the game. Because my first time playing this game, I hated anyone. I, I thought this shit was cheese because of how ass I was. Because I was playing, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, Gogeta. And some guy literally suicide bombed me with his fucking Cyberman and took almost all my HP, like, away. And that ass soloed my Gogeta with his Cyberman. And after that, I like, at first, like, in the beginning when I was at, like, D5 to, like, C1... I never wanted to verse against like a Cyberman ever again, and then I went against it like I think a couple days ago, and I was able to smoke the person using Cyberman. But honestly, much respects, you know, they're using this character over this character, so I need like that's a blessing either way. And so yeah, there's not much to say about Cyberman. They're usually playing him for the memes, and that's basically it. And you know the suicide bomb, obviously. Now we're gonna go to like actual characters that people main, and this is the first like negative one. Generally, if you're maining Dr. Wheelo, you are a whole... You're bitch main. You're actually bitch made. Because I, like, I I have learned to fight against um big characters, but holy shit. Big characters are dead-ass annoying. Like, I, I'd rather go a, against a Janambe than fucking Dr. Wheelo because they just do the same shit. They'd be dashing into you, dashing into you, dashing into you. I'm pretty sure I've seen, like, a decent amount of clips of, like... People dying to that shit or getting hit in an infinite combo. I haven't went against... I did go against one good Dr. Wheelow, but I didn't go against any really heavy characters before that. So, I really didn't know how to play against Dr. Wheelow. So, I got my ass beat. Beat. I got my ass destroyed. I'm not going to lie. I think I learned how to play against them. If they try to do that um, Dragon Dash spam, I'm pretty sure you just perception them. And that's basically how you deal with that and just try to go into sparking. But I'm guessing a good big character won't let you do that. And then they would just like hit you or grabs or anything. But yeah, this fucking character is annoying. And just look at the stats. Literally special attack almost like pretty high. HP damn near max. Attack fucking max. Key damn near max. Like yeah, Dr. Wheelow is not to be messed with. And anyone that plays this character is quite literally bitch made. Turtles. Uh, I, don't, I, I'm, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Anyone that's playing him, I generally don't know, like, is this a fucking clone or is this, like, a twin of, like, Goku? Because I seen, like, I, I deadass don't know where he, like, fits in the story. But for people that do play him, actually low-key goaded as fuck. They're usually really good at the game. But, um, they just don't want, they're just not basic bitches. They don't play the characters that everybody plays. And they just play Turtles because they're gang affiliated. They deadass don't want to, like, play Goku. They don't want to play Vegeta. They play this guy and just eat her fruit and just get fucking... It's basically steroids. Every time they eat their fruit, just steroids. They get boosted, like, infinitely, and they just start beating your ass. Lord Slug, nobody um, plays him, really, so I'm going to skip over him. 
Android 13, I'm not going to scope it. I fucking hate most of the Android, like, characters. But I think Android 13 is the only Android I really don't, like, I really have nothing against. Also, try, uh, Android 17 and 18. Because the Androids I dislike are Android 19 and Dr. Gero. And that's because they grab your cock non-stop. They grab your shit and then they, they absorb the life form from it. Getting full HP and taking all of your your horniness away or something and unlike um the other androids this android is fucking beefed up gangster affiliated chat as shit so usually people that are playing android 13 they're usually hitting you with combos and then when he goes into his like second form he damn near turns into a fucking android super saiyan so yeah there's not much to say he he just absorbs like two batteries and turns into super saiyan and then starts beating your ass the people that play, uh, play him are actually pretty good at the game. and um, I respect them for not running Dr. Gero or Android 19, but I'm not going to lie. If they have Android 13 on their team, they're most likely running a full Android team. And, you know, it's hard to say that they're not going to be using Android 17 or 18. They're most likely going to be using Android 19 and uh, Dr. Gero just because of the lifesteal. Okay, so I'm going to be butchering his fucking name, so please forgive me because I am not a Dragon Ball virgin. Uh, tap tampon so tampon's a pretty good character i have one against like tampon mains they are good at the game but i think i always get the edge on them J I, like i generally don't think this character does anything special i mean a lot of the characters in this game play alike like they that ass play the same and there's not much to say about tampon i think i went against like a couple of them when i was like early up in the ranks and even then i was low-key smoking them if I, I i guess if i still have a clip of it i might have it playing right here but yeah, that's basically, I, I don't know what to say about Tampon. I guess he's kind of G'd up because I, I know, I think, I think I'm not 100%. Okay, you know I'm not going to say it because I'm pretty sure if I say it, I'm going to get crucified. But okay, you know I'm going to say it. So if I if I do get cooked for this, fucking cook me. Um, Didn't he, like Trunks get his sword from um Tampon right here? Like, yeah, okay, I'm going to just move on. Um, So, you know, this, uh, I'm pretty sure nobody mains this fucking character. I'm going to move on. I went over those characters. Nobody plays them. I didn't go over Goku Black or Fuse Samatsu when I was um going over my video the first time. So I'm going to just go over it right now. Goku Black generally just has the same play style as um, Goku. Because, you know, I got it the old-fashioned way. I didn't get it with uh, my Dragon Balls. And if you're maining Goku Black, I respect it. Because Goku Black is it just looks cooler than fucking Goku. But to be honest, like, the only reason I, I want to make Goku Black, but honestly, the fusion between him and Fuse Hamatsu is low-key kind of butt cheeks. Because, like, why would you why would you play, um, like, Fuse Goku Black and Hamatsu when you could literally just play Gogeta and, um, yeah, literally play Gogeta. Like, I, I genuinely was trying to see if I could, like, com like, combo those characters. And then on top of that, when you go into, you know, Goku uh, Goku's Black, like, Super Saiyan form where he's, like, Goku Pink or some shit... Like, I don't know. I just don't like the blast attacks. I Like, every time I'm trying to combo with the blast attacks, you just blast them away. It just makes it a lot easier for them to sway your perception your combos. I usually like the high kicks. The high kicks are really good because they, they, they usually go over block. People really don't know how to fight against that. And then, if you know, when they do know how to fight against that, it's very, like, it really opens them up. Because if you see that they're reading you for a top kick, you could literally just go for a gut punch or a low, like, low heavy. And basically insane combos. So that's why I don't really like Goku Black. Anyone that mains them, you know, big ups. But uh, they're not really that good. Goku Black or Fusamatsu. Fusamatsu is actually dog shit. A lot of his, like, I don't know. A lot of his attacks are, like, kind of, they push you away. I really don't like characters that do that shit. They usually push their characters away. It's like, like, one, two, three. And then when you press triangle, they either blast you or they um fucking super blast the shit out of you. Vegeta does that, but I'm not gonna lie, Vegeta's is pretty good because he does have the top kick ability, or like the top kick um, combo, so his shit's actually good because you could either square square into triangle and do the top kick going through guard, like um, someone that's normal guarding, or you could go through it and try to gut punch them or do it until you get a like low heavy, and then if any, any of that, like you could end your combo with the final blast and usually that leaves them stunned for a while. Which allows you to get a Gal gun off. So that's why fucking Gogeta is good. I don't know about Fusamatsu. I mean, I haven't really played him a lot. So I can't really say much about Fusamatsu. I have played Goku Black. But I did try to run both of these guys on my team. And honestly, why would you do that when you could literally just play Goku and uh, Vegeta and get into like Gogeta, uh, Vegeta? Like, 
their fusion's a lot better. Like, Loki, they need a buff, like the fusion between Goku Black and Fusamatsu. Or maybe I'm playing it wrong. You know, put put it down in the comments uh, section down below. Be like, dude, your ass. I don't know. So we're gonna move on to Khalifa, Khalifa and Kale. I fucking hate these guys with the band. Like I, I hate them so much. And it, like normally I don't hate them. It's only when they start fusing and then they start old spamming. I swear I hate this shit out of both of them. I hate any character that spams sparking. I'm not gonna lie. I went on a 13 game one spree when I did that shit. I, I was like, you know what? All these guys are playing cheap as fuck. And I'm like, you know, all, all the crying I'm going to do online isn't going to make a difference. Let me just join the dark side. And if you guys didn't know, Goku Super has an ability where he could just go straight into sparking. And I swear I've never got more easier wins in my life. I swear if you're struggling or if you want to get a higher rank, just do that shit. Just play Goku or actually play a fucking... Um, goofy ass team that like literally everyone has either after image or could go straight into sparking i'm telling you you're gonna have the easiest time in your life you land a grab ultimate you win a vanishing ultimate they don't know how to super counter spam square until their whole team's fucking dead because that's that's basically what it is and so yeah when you have khalifa like if they're playing individually um it's fine they're still really good characters they're actually fun to, fun to fight against but you know if you're running Khalifa and uh, Kale, 9 times out of 10, they are going for that fusion. And what happens when they get into that fusion? The old spam starts happening. This is just like a, I guess, a nerfed version of like Broly. If they don't want to play Broly because he's slow as shit, they usually play um, Khalifa. So yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's the same thing for both of these characters. They most, they're, they're like a pair. This is If you're maining one, you're maining the other. It's the same shit. Like, I have, I generally have never versed against someone that had a uh, Kale and just didn't have Khalifa or Khalifa and then didn't, didn't have Kale. And on, on top of that, they're ugly ass bitches. Uh, <laughs> there's not much to say. Dispo, I think I versed Dispo once. Now, I'm, I'm literally going to be like skipping over it. Oh, one thing I could say about Dispo and uh, Bergamum. I, I, bro, I'm pronouncing her name so wrong. I'm sorry. Bergamamo. Uh, so these two characters, I have versed against someone that made these characters and it was the funniest shit of my life because I'm pretty sure it was a full furry team. I think he had this guy in his team and he had Beerus and some other character or there was a character, a person that had like these three in their team. And honestly, I fucking enjoy beating people that have a furry team because it's the funniest thing to like go up against. I, w I don't know if there's voice chat. I'm gonna see if there's voice chat. But honestly, if there was, uh, I would want my voice chat to be on 24-7 when I go up against these mains. Because I just want to hear the reaction when I'm uh, fighting them. And yeah, that's basically a enough for these characters. I, th I haven't versed against them much. There's not m really any mains for them. I'm really going to go over the characters that people actually do main. And so, this is the last character. This is the same shit. A lot of people have like... Some if they're running this, they usually have like a heavy team. Where there's this is like low-key their anchor character. Where, um, you know, they have, like, the characters they like to play. And then they have this guy to hold off. And, bro, the heavy characters have so much HP. And, you know, it's understandable because they're big-ass characters. But their Z-Burst should not be fucking fast as shit. Because, bro, whenever I'm going against these motherfuckers, they come they could come at me in, like, less than a second. And they just, like, I don't really get hit with, the con like, the constant fucking bum rush spam. Because I'm not gonna lie, if you guys see seen my, like, last video... Or a video before that. I I learned from my mistakes. And I learned how to counter that shit. But yeah. If you're playing big big characters. You're, at, you're a big character in real life. You're fat as fuck. Because there's no reason why you guys should be playing big characters. And running this, doing the same shit. And it's usually like the people that run these big characters. Are the ones that are ultimate spammy. Because they don't know how to fucking combo. They don't know how to perception. They don't know how to counter. They don't know how, the base mechanics of this game. They use this motherfucker. So they could get more health on their bears. More health on their Broly. So they could keep on doing the old spam shit that they usually do. And uh, yeah that's basically it for the vid. If you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments put them down in the like, comment section below. If you guys want me to watch Dragon Ball Z or like I guess stream or like put videos on like make a video on like the times where there's like something special happening like Freezer versus Goku for the first time or Boo versus Goku some shit like that. I'm down to do it. I really don't care. But yeah thank you guys for watching.